Okay, guys, if you were paying attention to what the bleep do we know, or you've studied quantum mechanics, then you will have seen, you know where they do that, um, like it's a double slot test, and they send all those particles through two slots, and if uh, they, they should be getting a shotgun powder, uh, pattern right behind those slits, and instead they got what was a wave, a wave of information, Remember that? If you don't remember it, um, go back and watch that part. And, uh, because there's two parts I want to talk about. I want to talk about that. And then I want to talk about water. So, <clears throat> basically, all those particles, uh, waves of information, timelines of information, um, collapse. Well, they say collapse. They don't really collapse because they're still all there. They didn't collapse into one. What you decided was you focused, you chose one out of the infinite possibilities that are always there. Okay. Now, they say it's not important that this is all done based on whoever's watching it will get a different result of all of this information with quantum mechanics. But they say that has nothing to do with your day-to-day -day life. But look around you everything is made up of particles molecules atoms whatever you want to call them and stuff that are way tinier that they can't see yet and all of it you're choosing which story to see and experience and what they would say collapse onto you are choosing moment to moment day to day just like when the scientists um, watch something it created an event but if it wasn't watched, then it was infinite possibilities. Okay? So that's the reason why I say your creation is up to you. You choose which tiny little moment to focus on moment to moment. Many, many, many times. All of those particles, you are what they would say collapsing, and I would say choosing, of the infinite possibilities every day, every day. Okay, now your brain is not fast enough to compute that or um, understand it. So we have things like the automatic uh, systems in your body that you breathe, your heart beats, your endocrine system flows, all your your eyes see, your ears hear, translate all that information automatically. You don't have to think about it. Well, that's what those belief systems you were taught whenever you were young were meant to do. So you do things on automatic pilot. You assume that this bunch of particles over here is hard, knock on wood, and that these are soft. You agree that this grouping of particles is the ground and you can walk on it, and another group of particles is the ground stops and it's air and you fall to your death. These are all agreements that you've made as you come into this. So you believe it therefore it is. If you didn't believe it, um, let's say, I don't know whether or not uh, Jackie Chan said this or if it was just in a movie and uh, they just made it up, but nonetheless it's true. If a lot of those uh, martial arts people that do, uh, also, who are those people that run and jump through the city? You know, just run, jump, and fly all over. It's cool. Very, very cool. Anyway, those people have changed their belief system in such a way that they believe that they can almost step on air, that they can jump further than anyone else, higher than anyone else. Those are all belief systems. And if magically you could change your belief systems, and I go, ding, and they'd be changed, you could um, walk on air, you could breathe underwater, you could, those are all belief systems that are put in place automatically. Then they start building a whole bunch more. And it's getting around those belief systems that we're trying to do, okay? That's where people like Eckhart Tolle, uh, Dr. Dyer did a lot, Wayne Dyer did a lot. A lot of people would go into that zen-like state, stay in the now, and watch things go by and go, not relevant to me, and just stay there, okay? Now staying there so that the rest of those belief systems don't interfere with your life. That's step one. 
But in 5D, you not only disregard every belief system you've ever been taught, but you, uh, and when you do that, you will in 5D. You'll just delete them all. You'll just say, nope, not going to do it. And uh, you're going to play. That's why it becomes very magical in 5D. Make sense? Because those belief systems are abandoned. So a lot of things that can't happen here will happen there on that earth that version, that aspect. So you will be able to sprout wings and fly. You will be able to walk on water. You will be able to breathe underwater. You will be able to float. You will be able to produce this or that instant manifestation because all of your old beliefs will be uh, disregarded. Now the the more upgrades you came with, the, le the more amnesia, less amnesia you came with on this planet, uh, the less those belief systems affect you. Thus, the 2012 children, which m most of them will disregard everything. And they will start creating very, very early. And they will shock and amaze the world until the world, those people either die or people start learning from them. That's how the new will go. The new steps that we go. But in order to get there, you have to be happy, happy, happy. You have to have no judgment. You have to truly understand there's no such thing as good and bad, right or wrong. There's not. All right. That is also true, like I've said before, that right or wrong, good, bad, light, dark is all translated by you based on your beliefs and your skin suit. So to get to 5D, you have to... Um, reboot without any programming. How's that? <laughs> no belief systems in place. Or at least be so good that you choose which belief systems you are going to keep and which ones are not. You're going to be in control of the whole situation consciously instead of a bunch of it being uh, controlled by you unconsciously. That's why they say things like you're going to become more conscious, more awakened, um, or knowing. That's what all those words mean, is you're going to lose the amnesia, decide what you're go how you're going to create, how you're going to collapse or choose these moment-to-moment -moment aspects of everyone and situations of everyone, and you're going to decide what rules and how you're, what rules you're going to have and how you're going to interact with them. All infinite possibilities will be available to you. That is the reason why 5D is so much fun. So much more fun than here. Okay? Now, the second thing about this, I want, uh, the second part of this I want to talk to you about is the Dr. Emoto part. And I want you to really, really uh, look Dr. Emoto and the water, um, what are they call? Uh, oh, you know what I mean. Where he did the water thing. Now, what I do, and I did with my toes, is I actually write on my body, thank you, unconditional love, write it with, you know, with hemp or henna or, well, whatever. Something natural, though. Don't put poison on your skin, but I actually do it myself, because if you know Dr. Emoto's studies, studies, there you go, studies, you will see that he has taken uh, probably water from that dam that's one of the most, uh, the worst waters in the world, he put it in a bottle and wrote unconditional love on the outside, and it turned that horrible water into beautiful water, just by putting the words on the, just by writing the words on the outside. Now I want you guys to really, really work at this loving yourself and loving others. Remember that words written down, thoughts, deeds, everything has energy that will affect you and others around you. So in your mind, if you're trashing yourself day after day after day, if you're trashing everything around you day after day after day, look at the damage that can be done. Or you can flip that whole thing and insist on loving yourself and everything around you and you can get some big time assist from one of the most powerful energies on this planet and that is the element of water. 
okay? Water is very, very, very strong element. Very strong. According to you guys, how you would perceive it. Very, very, very powerful. Very, very loving. Very, very loving uh, elemental. So because there's so much water in your body, there's so much water in the air around you, and you drink water, there's water piped everywhere, even if you're not around water per se, you know, like lakes or rivers or oceans or whatever, there's still water under that, under the ground, much more than anybody knows, much more than anyone knows. So, use that water to your advantage, ask for its help, and then work with it, with your thoughts, your deeds, and your writing, okay? Help each other, help your world, get to the timelines that you want, which is 5D, okay? All right, I want everybody to go over and um, watch and listen to Jeremy's uh, uh, Naya's family song. Okay, I want you to do that every day. Uh, I don't know whether or not he did it consciously, but subconsciously there are many layers to that song that either he or his higher selves uh, or his pub friends have inserted. Uh, a lot of healing energy that will heal you in any way, shape, or form without attaching energy to it. Beautifully done, by the way. Beautifully done. It will give you assist if you ask. It will give you some learning. You and your higher selves and them can uh, sort it out. But there's a lot of healing, happy uh, hug. There's a lot of hug energy in that song. So listen to it every day. Okay, guys? All right? Thank you so much, Jeremy. And, uh, uh, okay, guys, I'm going to do an interview with G-Man next Wednesday at 5. So, uh, let's see how that goes. All right, let's see if I handle it okay. <laughs> I'm sure I will, because G-Man is awesome. All right, guys, that's it for me. And, uh, huge hugs. I love you all so, so much. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.